everyone, it's Jess from Meyer Hatchery. The days are getting shorter, the temperature's a little bit cooler, and this means that it's time for the fall molt. You may notice a lot of feathers laying around your coop during this time. During the fall molt, I make sure to give my chickens all the support they need to get through the fall molt. And when I'm cleaning the coop, I make sure to gather those feathers for projects. Today I thought it'd be fun to test the trend of growing crystals on your feathers. Let's get started. To grow crystals on your feathers, you're going to need to gather some supplies. First, you're going to need some sort of heat proof container. So I'm using a mason jar that holds about two cups of water. You're going to need some borax. And the formula is about three to four tablespoons of borax per cup of water. So in here I have about eight tablespoons of the borax. I found adding that little extra gives me those really big crystals. You're also going to need something to hold your feather into place. So I'm using a clothespin here and some water that has been brought to boiling temperature. To mix up our solution is really easy. You're gonna make sure that your borax is in the bottom of your heat proof container. You're going to pour your hot water inside and we're gonna stir until the borax is all dissolved. Remember, this is going to be very hot because this is boiling water in here. So be very careful when touching your jar. I like to put mine in one of these small cookie sheets here with a dish towel. Make sure if you have small children around, you remind them not to touch the container. Let's give this a good stir. So we're gonna keep stirring this until everything is totally dissolved. At this point, if you'd like to color your feather, you can put a drop or two of food coloring in there. I also found adding some mica powder, which is a really fine glitter into here, adds some extra sparkle to your crystals. When choosing a feather to grow your crystals on, you wanna have a more stiff feather, like the one that I have here from our duck friend, Decky. It helps to hold those crystals. You're gonna notice that you're gonna get a lot of crystals and they may be a little bit heavy. So a feather like a silky feather isn't gonna hold up as well. After our mixture is all dissolved, we're going to take our feather and I'm just kind of putting a clip here like this, just enough to hold it and I'm going to balance it on the edge of my jar like so. You wanna make sure that your feather's not touching the edge of the container. That's gonna allow for crystals to grow evenly all the way around. I'm going to take my tray and everything and I'm gonna go set it somewhere and allow it to sit for 24 hours. After 24 hours, you may notice that you have lots of crystals. If you don't have any after 24 hours, don't worry. Allow your feather to set for another day. Let's take a look at a feather that I've allowed to sit for 36 hours. All right, so here's my feather that's been sitting about 36 hours. We're gonna take this out of here and take a look. I did add a little bit of that mica powder to this. Take a look at this. How beautiful is that? Now remember, your crystals are going to be fragile as they're just borax. So you wanna make sure that after you allow this to dry completely, so I'm gonna set this here, that you give it a good spray with some uh, clear acrylic spray and then you display it in a nice safe place. How beautiful is this though? I love this. What a great way to celebrate the fall molt. Hopefully I've given you some inspiration to make some beautiful crystal feathers of your own. How is your flock doing during the fall molt? Leave your experience in the comments below. Be sure to visit us at MeyerHatchery.com for all your poultry needs. Also, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click that bell so you're the first to know every time a new video has been released. Thank you so much for watching.